Hey guys, today I'm doing Lesson 24, Sea Sanctuary by Rob Hell, which is the short story after Owen and Mazzy. This is an informational text as well. It gives factual information about things. And what we're gonna focus on is maps and diagrams. As you can see, there's already a map here that you can kind of look at. So let's go ahead and look at this real quick before I go ahead and start reading. Um, it's the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. So you can see that this is Monterey Bay. It's in California. So this is where it's talking about. And here's the Pacific Ocean. Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary covers more than 5,300 miles. So it's really all the way through here. But this is the actual Bay Area. So it's all over here. So let's go ahead and start reading. We often think of a wildlife sanctuary as a jewel of land that has been set aside to keep safe. But there are ocean sanctuaries too. The United States government has preserved 13 important areas as marine or sea sanctuaries. The largest of them is California's Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. This sanctuary is an ecosystem. It is an environment whose non-living parts, such as water and earth, work with its living parts. Each part is like a companion to another part. Upwelling is one example of this. Wind causes cold water to rise to the surface of the ocean. This cold water causes new plants to grow. Then animals come to eat these plants. This food source is the chief reason why so many species are drawn to Monterey Bay. No enclosure or closed space keeps them there. The food does. So you can see this is a sea otter. A sea otter finds plenty of shellfish to eat in Monterey Bay. These animals suffered a drop in numbers because of being hunted for their fur in the early 1900s. Now they're slowly starting to return to the area. Seafood chain. Each plant and animal in a sanctuary is part of a food chain. A necessary bond connects each hunter to its prey. The need for food is why a hungry orca might charge at a sea lion. It is the same reason a sea lion might leave a rockfish exhausted after a chase. One animal depends on another for life. Flower garden banks. Coral reefs and ocean waters are inseparable. Coral reefs can be found in 110 miles off the Texas and Louisiana coast. They are protected by the Flower Garden Banks, a 36,000 acre marine sanctuary. This coral reefs, the coral reefs lie on top of two salt domes, old underwater mountains. Today, Flower Garden Bank Sanctuary is home to 23 types of coral. Anyone with affection or marine creatures, for marine creatures will find many animals there. One might see turtles, manta rays, or the odd intruders such as the huge whale shark. So if you look at this little map down here, you can see that this is where the Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary is, just off the coast of Texas and Louisiana. And this is what you could find there. So let's look at these predators and prey. So a healthy environment keeps each member of the food chain well fed. Orcas eat sea lions, sea lions eat rockfish, rockfish eat krill, krill eat tiny plankton. And that's what this shows. So orcas, this is your orca, it eats a sea lion. Sea lions eat rockfish, rockfish eat krill, and krill eat tiny little plankton, okay? So what you're gonna be doing for this story is you're gonna do the text to text this time, but you're not gonna do it with partners. You're gonna do it by yourself because it is virtual, so you can't really work with a partner. But both Owen and Mazzy and Sea Sanctuary are nonfiction. Um, you're going to create a Venn diagram or something of sort, um, a T-chart, whatever you can make up, um, to compare and contrast the two selections. Include information about how the texts are organized, the types of graphics and photographs used, and the author's purposes for those two stories, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to create the Venn diagram on paper or a T-chart, whatever you choose to do, take a picture of it and submit it to your um, assignment for Wednesday, okay? So go ahead and get started on that. Reread the selections so you can remember everything. And please make sure you at least have five, four to five different items on each Owen and Mazzy Sea Sanctuary and for the both columns, okay? So go ahead and get started, guys.